Hey guys, it's Emma from Minna and Liz Jail. And so today I'm going to be making a cappuccino at home, homemade. So if you have a Starbucks cup, you can just pour it in there and say that you made Starbucks. So let's go. Okay, first of all, a quick room update. This is the door. This is a handle. It's pretty dark in here. But this is my room so far. The light doesn't work. So hopefully I can sort of see. That's sort of my closet right there. Not my head, that's my closet. And yeah, I can't really see but the windows. Yeah, it's dark out here, so. That's good that I made it when it was dark. So yeah, I wouldn't see all of it. So yeah, now let's really get started with this cup too. Okay, so let's get started with the ingredients. So what you will need are cappuccino. I've got mine at Walmart. Milk. Measuring cup. And a spoon. Okay, so you're going to start off by grabbing your measuring cup. And where it says 8 ounces. And if you don't have a measuring cup, it's also a cup. So I guess you can eye it. But <laughs> I'm not good at math. Anywho, so just Filling that in. Any kind of milk. It doesn't have to be this kind of milk. Eight ounces. AKA one cup. I like to say AKA. Anyone else do that? No? Okay. Um, it's not exactly there, yeah. Okay. And so you're going to put it in the microwave. That's also what you need. For a minute or four, two minutes. And I said it's better with two minutes, but heck to the not am I drinking that thing hot. So. There we go. By the way, I'm using a stool. I'm not this tall. So put, uh, one minute. One minute. So now we have to wait for one minute. Hopefully, you are patient because I'm not. So on this step, I'd recommend adult supervision. But I'm just going to yank it out. I get hot. Okay, so I just carefully do it, but if you don't have a stool or anything to stand on, um, I recommend uh, to ask an adult to do it. So sorry about the background noise, my mom is watching TV. So, I'll be back. So what you do now is grab the cappuccino thingy. Okay, thought this complicated to record. There we go. Cappuccino. Three, three spoonfuls. Let's count. Count with me. Wait, let me measure it all. I make this one a little bit just if you want more flavor and add the excess on your okay. and now moving this out of the way you are going Ew, this is hard ew just got chocolate all over my I'll pay up. Okay. There. Is this a better view? Now we are going to mix it. Yay, mixing is fun. Come on, mix. Don't just stay in the middle. It's so not funny. chocolate for fun just maybe like this much so I'll be back I'm done mixing that's fun anywho so now you're gonna grab your cup you can either use one of these a regular cup is fine or a Starbucks cup that y'all might have um, I would have used one but I couldn't find it I guess we 
lost it, but I have my cup, so that's much better. Anywho, now you're gonna pour that in there. Make sure it's well mixed, so I'd recommend to taste it or let it cool off for you to taste it. Beautiful. I already tasted it, so. Okay. So now you're gonna close it well enough and just take a drink. It's not too hot, not too cold, it's warm. My favorite kind of weather. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed making this video with me, please like it and comment down below. Which one would you rather drink? The Starbucks cappuccino or the homemade cappuccino? Anywho, so yeah, please subscribe to Hemin and Liz. Give us to 100 subscribers and we will be doing a giveaway. And also subscribe to Cynthia with the smiley face, Leo the Killer, and Stephanie's Randomness, and Seven Lovely Gymnasts. So thank you guys for watching. And also please audition for Seven Lovely Gymnasts. Me and Liz need partners. Come on, we can do this. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.